Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe Audition CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to configure your audio hardware settings. This is your default input and default output settings to set up audio hardware preferences so you can record audio into Adobe Audition and listen to sound coming out of Adobe Audition. Come up to the top menu, click on Audition, settings and then select audio hardware. In most cases, the only settings that you'll need to change are the default input and the default output. If you are using a USB microphone, such as the Samsung Q2U, maybe the Blue Yeti, or one of the Rode USB microphones, where the microphone plugs directly into a USB port on your computer, well then for the default input, you would just click on the drop down and select your USB microphone. If you are using an XLR microphone, such as the Shure SM58 or the Shure SM7B, and you have that microphone plugged into an audio interface, such as a Scarlett audio interface, or maybe you have a Rodecaster Pro or a mixer, well then you would select the audio interface where the microphone is plugged into. So in my case, I would click on the dropdown for default input I could select the Scarlett 4i4, which is where this is plugged into, or I could select the Rodecaster Pro, which is where my Shure SM7B is plugged into. If you have a fresh install of Adobe Audition, or maybe you haven't set your default inputs and outputs before, when you make changes to your audio hardware settings, so if I select my Rodecaster Pro, I'm gonna get this little warning telling me that I'm making a change to my audio hardware. Do I want to continue? Yes, I do, but I'm also gonna check this box, don't show again, so this pop-up doesn't show up every time I make a change. Next is default output. What device are you using to listen to audio coming out of Adobe Audition? So if you are using headphones, where are your headphones plugged into? In my case, my headphones are plugged into my Rodecaster Pro, which is the same place where my Shure SM7B is plugged into. So for my default output settings, I'm gonna click on the dropdown and I'm gonna select the Rodecaster Pro Stereo. If your headphones are plugged directly into your computer or maybe you're using a pair of Bluetooth headphones, well then you would click on the default output dropdown and you would select your computer. If you have a USB microphone and your headphones are plugged directly into your microphone and you're using the microphone to control the volume levels of your headphones, well then for the default output, you would just select your USB microphone. And if your headphones are plugged directly into your audio interface, well then you would just select your audio interface as the default output. For Mac users, when you select system default for inputs and outputs, whatever you have selected on your Mac as your main output and input settings, that is going to be automatically used in Audition. Once you have your default input and your default output set, click OK. If you are speaking into your microphone and you're not seeing any levels bouncing up and down, we'll go up to the top menu, go to View, Metering, and then select Meter Input Signal, or remember the Must Know Keyboard Shortcut Option or Alt-I. When you click on that, if you have your input settings correctly, you should see the levels bouncing up and down. That is how to set up audio hardware preferences in Adobe Audition CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.